Good Saturday morning to you. Hope uh, you've had a good week. And uh, as I always say, uh, Sunday morning church is a Saturday decision. So I hope you're uh, already making plans to be in uh, God's house tomorrow morning. And I'd love to have you at Poplar Grove. Uh, we're located at 3476 Poplar Tent Road in Concord, uh, just up above uh, the Fry Skating Rink in Bowling Alley. Uh, or uh, the old Kmart, and so I uh, would love to have you uh, come and uh, join with us. We're meeting out in uh, our family life building right now to allow uh, plenty of room for social distancing, and we have masks and sanitizer and uh, all those uh, good things to try our best to keep you safe, and so we'd love to have you uh, come and be with us. Uh, but if not, be somewhere uh, worshiping the Lord, be supporting your church. Uh, and so uh, if you don't have a good church in your neighborhood uh, and Poplar Grove is not convenient to you, give me a call. I'll help you find a church uh, nearby, uh, one we can uh, feel comfortable recommending that will be preaching the Bible. So uh, remember that tomorrow morning. We start at 10 a.m. And so uh, I'd love to have you come and join with us or uh, join us here on Facebook Live. And uh, if you're not able or still not comfortable with uh, coming out, uh, we'd love to have you join us uh, that way. Uh, you can go to our website. It's streamed, live streamed there. And uh, so we'd love to have you uh, be part uh, of our worship service uh, in some way. All right, get your Bible and look with me back into 35th Psalm. Uh, David uh, is praying here. It's a, this psalm is a prayer, actually. Uh, we generally think of the psalms as, uh, as songs, uh, but this one is a prayer. Uh, David is praying. Uh, while he was uh, being uh, pursued by King Saul, uh, Saul was uh, jealous and angry uh, of the attention that David had gotten for uh, for taking out Goliath, uh, and so uh, he is out to uh, to get David. Uh, and so some of the folks who had been friends with David, who had been uh, he had fought alongside of, now uh, were involved in the pursuit of David. Uh, and so this is a prayer uh, of David for uh, for protection uh, that they that God would take out uh, those who were uh, pursuing him unjustly. Uh, and again, Saul was uh, completely wrong in his uh, pursuit uh, of David. It was based on his uh, on, on anger, and uh, the anger came out of uh, jealousy. Uh, David had uh, not in any way attempted to uh, dethrone Saul or take his uh, position. Uh, for Samuel uh, tells us that he had always uh, served uh, Saul, First uh, Samuel chapter uh, eighteen, verse fourteen, uh, that he had always served Saul correctly, uh, and so David. Uh, this psalm uh, comes out of his innocence, uh, and he prays with great confidence uh, that uh, he is asking God uh, to execute justice. Uh, God, uh, saw, uh, David has no issue whatsoever of saying, God, do what's right in this uh, thing between me and Saul, uh, because David believes he is correct. He believes that he has acted uh, correctly uh, during uh, this entire uh, episode. And so we'll be picking up in uh, verse uh, 4 today. And David prays, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Uh, and so David uh, prays, uh, kind of a, a wordy statement there, I guess, in the King James, but it's really a, a, a simple statement. David just simply prays uh, that his uh, attackers, uh, those who were uh, after him, that they'd be defeated. Uh, that they uh, that they would be uh, embarrassed even uh, this is put to shame that seek after my soul David uh, is what he's praying is that the truth will come out um, and that uh, they would be embarrassed because of uh, their actions because of their uh, pursuit 
uh, of, uh, uh, of David. Uh, and uh, we look at this, and again, this is what we know as uh, an imprecatory psalm. Uh, and for, for New Testament Christians, sometimes the imprecatory psalms are uh, a little bit harsh for us because they will pray. Uh, some of these get um, very... Um, <laughs> very brutal and harsh uh, and emotional and we're you know suppose we we believe of ourselves as peace lovers and peacemakers and uh, and so uh, when David is praying here put them to shame let them be turned back brought to confusion uh, for some people that that's uh, a little bit a uh, little bit uh, difficult uh, but again uh, you have to remember what David is asking uh, and what David is praying for is that God would act in justice. Uh, justice would be here that David would be vindicated uh, and his pursuers uh, would be destroyed. That, that would be justice because David had done uh, nothing wrong and the pursuers saw uh, they were uh, acting out of uh, anger and justice. And so, uh, and, and furthermore, David is simply praying uh, that God would do to them what they were doing to him. I think I got that right. Uh, he is asking that uh, they be put to shame. Well, they have, uh, they're, they're, they've been spreading rumors and lies about David. They've been trying to embarrass David, uh, turn them back, bring them to confusion. Uh, and so uh, David is simply praying uh, that, uh, that they, would, uh, they would suffer the same, uh, same uh, punishment uh, that they had uh, inflicted on him, uh, turning him into a, a, a fugitive, turning him into a, a, a criminal. Uh, and so David was uh, praying that, uh, that, that, that justice uh, would be done, that their, their attempts to attack him and ruin him uh, would be brought, he says, to uh, confusion. Let them be as a chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Uh, and so again, he's simply praying uh, that uh, that God would drive them back, like uh, chaff to the wind. He's praying uh, again that uh, they would be uh, driven back. Uh, verse 6 is, let their way be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Uh, and so David is again, he, he's praying for uh, protection. He's calling for uh, the angel of the Lord to, uh, to chase Saul and his men, just as Saul and his men were chasing him. Uh, and so when we, when we take on, on a you know, on a high altitude reading of this psalm, it may seem, uh, or any of the imprecatory psalms for that matter, when you read them up, you know, from a distance, I guess is the way to say it, uh, sometimes they seem a bit um, harsh that as we begin to dig into them and understand them a little bit more, uh, you kind of, you can have a better understanding of how uh, that uh, that prayer uh, is being uh, being prayed, and so David is praying that the angel, of the Lord, the messenger uh, of God, uh, would make their path dark and slippery, uh, where they couldn't see their way, where they couldn't continue uh, to pursue him and uh, to chase after him. Uh, and so he's, again, he's simply praying that the same thing that would have, that is happening to him uh, would happen uh, to Saul uh, and his people. For without cause, and here he states his case, for without cause, uh, they have hid from me their net in a pit, which without cause, he says again, uh, they have digged for my soul. Uh, and so David is uh, saying, let them suffer um, for their wrong uh, persecution of me. Verse 8, uh, let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction, let him fall. Uh, and so David is praying, let them be caught in the trap they set for me. Uh, 
Uh, and so uh, he's, again, he, he's simply stating his case uh, that he is innocent, uh, he, and, and he prays without any shame whatsoever that his enemies uh, be destroyed uh, because they are trying to destroy him. Uh, and so he, uh, again, he had done nothing to Saul. Uh, he hadn't you know, injured him or harmed him in any way. He hadn't tried to take the throne from Saul. Uh, and so David is simply praying that uh, the phrase we would use today, let them reap what they've sown, uh, that, uh, they would, uh, that they would receive uh, that type uh, of judgment. And he compares himself here uh, in, in this verse. Uh, when you look at it, he says they have, uh, they they, they've tried they've hit a net in the pit uh, that uh, they have digged for my soul he's uh, they, they're, tr they're, they're chasing him and treating him like a uh, like a wild animal uh, he says and they're spreading uh, setting traps and uh, and doing these things and David says it would only be justice it would only be right if instead of me being called in the traps the, the unlawful traps that they're setting that they would be caught uh, in their own trap and again that may seem harsh to us as uh, New Testament believers but uh, again that was a, a common uh, prayer in uh, in the Old Testament Again, there's at least uh, five that we easily can call uh, imprecatory Psalms uh, in, uh, in in the book of Psalms and so uh, again David is simply praying uh, for justice um, and I don't think it's wrong for us today uh, to pray uh, for justice uh, to be done to those uh, who uh, to harm us but Jesus teaches us to pray uh, for uh, our persecutors uh, and to love them and Paul does uh, the same thing and, and it's hard to pray uh, for those it's much easier to pray uh, a prayer like David's but uh, we as we grow in our walk with the Lord we learn uh, to uh, to pray for those to bless those uh, that uh, that curse us and uh, to be obedient to his command uh, and so we have that challenge today as uh, as New Testament believers to uh, to walk like Christ walked and to uh, to love like He loved and to forgive like He forgave. All right, hope that helps you today. Have a good day.